Hey guys, it's your girl Lashes Tony XO. How are you guys doing? Um, I do post um live chats every Wednesday, and we have girl talk, which is super fun. And then every Saturday, I do a shop my stash, and then I do a giveaway as well. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell, and you can become part of our Lashes Tony XO family here. Um, so I did a poll and I, you guys voted for me to do my really large makeup haul. So that's what we're doing today. We're doing a makeup haul. All right. So these are the products I picked up, um, on my vacation. The first thing I want to show you guys that I picked up from Sephora. This is the Sublime colors from Pat McGrath. Um, like I said, I didn't realize how many it was, but I did see it in store. I was um, on vacation. I did see it in store. So I did, I was able to swatch it. And I will say that the reason why I picked it up is because they're so, I don't have anything from Pat McGrath. So I was very curious and the textures are so buttery and I don't think I've had ever had anything this intense. So, I guess the hype is real. They're basically all shimmers, and I'm gonna swatch them on my arm. But so, that's just like one swatch, you guys. And I love, and this one don't even come off. It's like stuck on my finger, so that's interesting. Um, so, I love shimmers on the lid. I have shimmer um, on my lid today by um, Natasha Denona. I have this really beautiful purple shimmer um, on my lid today, right there. Um, but I love shimmer on the lid, like I said. So that's the only reason why I picked this palette up. Number one, because I wanted to try something from Pat McGrath. And number two, I love like a good shimmer. And these were so pigmented and buttery that I was like, um, I've got to pick this up. So I'm happy that I did. And yeah, that black, that darker color is just like, it's not coming off. So, so I got another Fenty Beauty um, brow product. This is the MVP brow product. Um, I've already went through one. This is my second one that I'm going through, you guys. So obviously, I really enjoy it. And this time, I picked up the color um, Ash Brown. Last time I got, I believe I got Ash Blonde dark ash blonde or something like that this one is ash brown so a little little bit darker in color but not much but i ran out when i was on my vacation totally ran out of brow products and i was like oh my god what am i gonna do and it was really cool because there was like a sephora right down the street so i was like yes um but yeah this one's just a little bit darker than my last one I'm a little bummed that, I mean, I know I just purchased the last one not too long ago, so I'm a little bummed that they don't last that long, so obviously it doesn't have a lot of product in it. I did use this um, a lot, like every time I did my makeup, I did use it, but still, you would think it would last a little bit longer, so I don't know. That was my second one that I purchased, but I do love it. It's a little bit more creamier product, I feel like, than the Benefit. If you've ever tried the benefit one um and this one um i got a new lipstick um i had saw somebody talk about these which i own one already but i don't really like the color um it came in like a set or something so i didn't get to pick the color so it's not one of my go-to colors but i saw this color and i thought it was beautiful it's called surfs up it's by tart rainforest of the sea and it's the color splash lipstick and again i got surfs up i just thought it was a really pretty fall color so they're in this like really pretty like watercolor looking tubes like i said i do own one already but i don't wear it because i don't like the color but i just thought this one was a really pretty like everyday color it's kind of like not vampy it doesn't have a smell either it's like not vampy it's like just the perfect everyday color really um so it has a little bit of a mauve tone to it so i'm excited to play with this i just think it'd be pretty for the fall so i got that one 
and I do like the formula. This is Damn Girl. This is the mini one. Um, I do have this in the full size, and that is going to go in my, if you watch my shop massage, um, if you didn't watch my shop massage, I will link that video, but I talk about how this is one of the most um, disappointing products, I guess, um, and I did pick this up in a mini because I was going to put it in a giveaway, so I'm still planning on doing that, so if you haven't tried it, um, then this is going to go in a giveaway. I also picked up this veil. Um, this is just a Veil Powder Translucent Setting Powder. It's in the mini one. This is by Hourglass. I didn't want to pay, what, 40 something dollars for a powder when I just wanted to try it because I'm real picky about powders and I have so many powders in my collection right now. So I really don't need a full size. So I just got a mini one, which was 20 something dollars, which is fine. Um, okay, you know, you pick it up at the checkout area. If you just want to try it. I couldn't decide between the three palettes that came out at the same freaking time. Um, so there was a purple palette that came out first and then like a blue palette and then this orange one that came out last. Um, for some reason my eyes were drawn to this one. Um, I guess it looked very, like I love fall colors and it to me it looked very fallish. So I'm going to show you if I can open it, what it looked like or what it looks like. The mirror is freaking huge, um, but the colors are like, like I said, very fall vibe. I just feel like there's a, a good variety in here. There's a lot of trans transition colors that you could use like that. And then there's some really, really crazy, insane, like bright colors. So... I haven't swatched this or anything, but if you guys want to see a full review on this palette, let me know in the comments. I can do a get ready with me or I can do a swatch video. Whatever you guys want to see, let me know in the comments. But this palette is huge and I'm really excited about it. Um, so I did pick that up. This is the Sephora Favorites, the next big thing. Um, you know, they always come out with these types of things um, for the holidays. So this is what I picked up and um, I noticed like when I opened it that my Natasha Denona Diamond and Glow little palette was broken. Um, if you remember my other Natasha Denona palette that I got um, was broken. I don't know what my luck is with Natasha Denona palettes but anyway this was like a really creamy I don't even know what you call it. It's a very weird feel. Um, it was just, it was broken. So I basically um, put it back in there, packed it back in there. And then you have, um, that has to be a blush. I was gonna say it's a highlighter, but I don't know, it's super, it's super pink. So I think it'd be really pretty on the cheeks, but you wouldn't need a highlighter with it. Um, um, I'm not really sure sure um how I feel about this I think this is um not my favorite and I was a little disappointed with that so if you're interested in this I don't know um some other things that came with is a full-size melt lipstick um it's like a row i think it's called old rose it's like a nude color but it's a full size melt lipstick um it also comes with a milk product it's like a little mini um k-a-j-a -A. i always forget how to pronounce it but um anyway it's it's a weird product <laughs> this is like a stamp blush which i'm not going to use that part i think that's very gimmicky but this part is like, um, I don't know, I think if I use a beauty blender and press in there, I could put some like the blush like that. That's how I'm going to try it out. See if I like it. Also comes with a um, Artist Couture highlighter, a Versali liquid, little mini liquid glass. And then it also comes with the... Violet Voss. This is like a um, kind of like the Stila glitter and glows. And so yeah, so you get all that. 
I was a little, like I said, a little disappointed in the Tasha Janona product. Uh, I think it's an okay. It was $39, so it's okay. I just wasn't that impressed with it. I don't know. Um, this is the Too Faced Gingerbread. This is like a body shimmer, and you guys know how much I love my body shimmers. So this is limited edition, and when I saw that it was limited edition, I was like, okay, I'm ordering that. And let me see if I can get the tape. I didn't know there was tape all over it. Um, so I'm really, really excited. There's tape on every corner. So, so this I really I knew I wanted. It was like I said, it's limited edition. It comes with a puff, which is really pretty. You put it reminds me of like the powder my grandmother used to have in her bathroom. But it comes with this really cute puff. It has gingerbread all over it. And then it says, um, you just pull off the tab. Oh my goodness, it's like a gingerbread shape. That is so cute. I'm trying to pull it off carefully. So it's got like a gingerbread shape and it's got the glitter in it. So it's supposed to smell like gingerbread. So I'm gonna, this is like something I'm really excited about because I'm really into like body glitters. So I'm gonna try this real quick just to see what it looks like. Put it on my decollete. I do have my lotion on too, so. I'm just putting a little bit on here and we're gonna just gonna see if I can move this. Whoa, <laughs> that was a lot. That might have been too much. But it does have a smell to it. And I don't know, I was it was something it was that I really wanted, limited edition. Um, and it's adorable, so I'm excited about this one for sure. This is the Sephora Celebrate Lash Set. This is like a limited edition little set. Um, so you open it up and you have like six Sephora lashes. Um, they're, uh, I guess their most popular lash sets. And you also get lash glue. Not only would this be a really cute um, Christmas gift, but I just, I had to get it for myself. It was a little pricey, to be honest with you guys. Um, I can't remember how much I paid, but it was a really, it was pretty pricey. Um, but I'll try to link everything for you guys that I picked up. Um, but I wanted to show you that. So, I'm really excited. These were like some, probably the two most things I was most excited about. Because I love lashes and I love glitter. So, yay! Excited about that the most. Um, and then these were all my freebies I got. So, obviously, these are going to go in my shop mustache. Um, so, yeah. all this We're not going to go through all of it. But I got a good bit of freebies. This is the Honey Pot. It's $59. Um, it was at Ulta. Okay, guys, so if you want to enter in this giveaway, all you have to do is be from U.S. This is not an international giveaway. Sorry, you guys. This one is U.S. only, and you must comment down below. Make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel, and then when you comment down below, make sure you hashtag Lashes Tony XO fan. And for extra entries, all you have to do is share this video and you will get extra points. I will put in the description box how long the giveaway is going to be going on and the rules and all that stuff. So what I'm giving away, if you're interested, is I'm giving away this cute little honey palette. Um, it's like a mini of the Urban Decay honey palette. You get the um, mini Urban Decay all-nighter honey uh, setting spray you also get all these are limited edition by the way you also get the Urban Decay um, eyeshadow primer in honey and you get the Urban Decay 24-7 glide on eye pencil in amber um, this came from Ulta and it's called the honey pot it's a $59 value um, so you get all this in the giveaway and like I said, this is limited edition and U.S. only. So yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I would totally appreciate it. And I'll talk to you next time.